welcome back to a vintage vanity and I am so excited to be taping this video because this is a very special series oh you, you knew that because of the ti the title you yeah, I gave it away didn't it ah spoiled my surprise anywho as you guys probably know Downton Abbey season 3 is going to be premiering in September in the UK. For us here in the US, we are going to have to wait until January. <laughs> but <laughs> what I've decided to do is do a short series before the UK launch and the US launch where I do a series of hairstyles from Downton Abbey. Yay! And uh, you would think I'd start with one of my favorite characters, which is actually Lady Sybil, if you're curious. One of the most iconic characters to come out of the series is Lady Mary. And you know what? She is one of those characters, when, when, she, when we were first introduced to her, I did not like her at all. And then I liked her, and then I didn't, and then I liked her, and then I didn't. So they've really written this rich, complex character, so I thought, who better to start the series off with? So today's hair tutorial is going to be based on Lady Mary Crowley. And the inspiration for this series actually came from um, one of our one of our vintage Vanny, Vanny, Vanites? I don't know, what do we call ourselves? <laughs> Elizabeth, so thank you Elizabeth. This is a great idea um, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. Now I'm not going to tell you who I'm going to do next because I'm still, I'm actually still waffling between two and I'm probably going to do about two to three um, looks before the premiere of the UK one and then two to three looks before the premiere of the US one. So I hope you guys really, really enjoy this special little series and have a lot of fun with it. I'm going to shut up and get to the tutorial so you can see exactly how this look was created. For the style, I went ahead and put some hot rollers in my hair to just get a little bend in it because my hair is pretty straight when I let it dry naturally. So having some loose curl in it is going to make it a little bit easier to go into an updo. So what we're going to do is we're going to section off our hair into a front section and I'm just going to take it from about the ear forward. I'm just going to put it in a ponytail holder real quick Let's get it out of the way. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. This is a side parted look, so you'll want to be sure to part that slightly on your side. And again, just a ponytail holder just to get it up and out of the way. And then we're going to section off another section on the side of our hair, on the side here. So basically from right behind the ear forward. And once again, ponytail it so it's out of the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to brush through that real quick. We're going to place in a low and loose ponytail. So I'm just going to wrap it around twice. And then you're going to take your donut or your chignon form and you're going to place it right on top of the ponytail. We're not going to pull the hair through, we're actually going to place it right on top. And then we're going to take the hair and bring it up and over. Just like that. And then we're going to spread the hair over the donut. Now once that's done, you're going to take your bow bait pins. And you're going to place them at the four corners. And you want to make sure you're going into the hair, into the chignon. And then as you can see we've got some unruly hair here. All you're going to do is just run your fingers over that, kind of collect it, and tuck it in underneath the form. Now we're going to deal with the two uh, side sections. And I'll show you what this looks like um, in the back for the other side. 
So we're just going to kind of lightly bring it back so it looks uh, nice and loose. And then you're going to twist it going over. Twist it all the way to the ends. And then you're going to lay it right on top of the chignon form. And then you're just going to pin the end. And then you're going to pin right about here. You're going to pin right into the chignon. Okay, so what we're going to do with this side section is we're going to split it in two. And I'm going to just pin this section off to the side for now. And then this lower section, we've got a bit of a wave in there from the curl, which is what we want. And we're just going to kind of work with that wave and bring the hair, this hair back to the chignon form. And then once we reach it, we'll pin it. So on this side, you just want something that's very loose and very easy. Okay. Then we're going to take this very last top piece and just kind of give it a, tw a twist. And we're going to twist it under. So it gives it, let's give it a couple twists. So it gives it a little bit more height on the side. And again, bring it back on top of the chignon form and pin it. Now for our final section. Now this section is really how we're, where we're going to get that signature Lady Mary look. And you're going to twist it all the way back to the chignon. Now you'll have some leftover hair here, but that's fine. That's exactly what you should have. And once you hit the chignon, you're going to pin. And then the rest of the hair, you're just going to sweep it back. I don't have any fancy little combs to put back here. But what I do have is this really lovely um, necklace. <laughs> So I'm actually going to lay this right on top of our bun, a bobby pin on this side of the necklace, a bobby pin on this side of the necklace, and then I'm just going to take these ends and kind of tuck them in the top. There's another couple pins in here to kind of move it up. There we go, a little Edwardian resourcefulness. Go, and we're just going to give it a final spray. And this time I'm going to use my uh, cementing spray, my big sexy hair, which <laughs> my hair will not move. So there we go. That is our Lady Mary Crawley look from Downton Abbey. Let's give a little spin so you guys can see from all sides. you guys really enjoy this Downton Abbey series as much as I am enjoying making it and as always to show your support of a vintage vanity go ahead and click the thumbs up and like right down there and as always I love hearing from you guys so let me know who's your favorite Downton Abbey character maybe I'll do a hairstyle on them oh no maybe comment section below I love talking to you guys so I hope to hear from you down there and if you haven't done so already and you want to know when new videos are out, go ahead and click the subscribe button there. That'll let you know when new hair tutorials are up, new sewing vlogs, or just vlog vlogs. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye!